Although it's not something you're likely to do often, I want to at least show you that it's perfectly possible to create custom containers in your Swift UI app. This takes more advanced Swift knowledge because it leverages some of Swift's power features, so it's okay to skip this if you find it too much. To try it out, we're going to make a new type of stack called a grid stack, which will let us create any number of views inside a grid. What we want to say is that there's a new struct called grid stack that conforms to the view protocol, and that inside the grid will be lots of content cells that themselves must conform to the view protocol. In Swift, we'd write this struct grid stack, content conforms to view, itself conforms to view, let rows int, let columns int, let content int comma int returns content, var body some view, and for now to say more to come as a comment. The first line, struct grid stack content view conforms to view, uses a more advanced feature of Swift called generics, which in this case means you can provide any kind of content you'd like for your cells, but whatever it is must conform to the view protocol. After the colon, we repeat view again to say that grid stack itself also conforms to the view protocol. Take particular note of the let content line. That defines a closure that must be able to accept two integers and return some sort of content we can show. We need to complete the body property with something that combines multiple vertical and horizontal stacks to create as many cells as was requested. We don't need to say what was in each cell because we can get that by calling our content closure with the appropriate row and column. So we might fill it in like this. V stack for each zero to rows, row in. Then H stack for each zero to columns, column in. And then call our closure self.content row comma column. Now that we have a custom container, we can write a view using it like this. Grid stack, rows four, columns four, row col in, text r string interpolation row, c string interpolation col. Our grid stack is capable of handling any kind of cell content as long as it conforms to the view protocol. So we could give cells a stack of their own if we wanted. H stack, image system name string interpolation row times four plus col dot circle. For more flexibility, we could leverage one of Swift UI's features called view builders, which allows us to send in several views and have it form an implicit stack for us. To use this, we've got to create a custom initializer for our grid stack struct, so we can mark the content closure as using Swift UI's view builder system. In it, rows int, columns int, at view builder content, at escaping int int, returns content. Self.rows equals rows, self.columns equals columns, self.content equals content. That's mostly just copying the parameters directly into the struct's properties, but notice the at view builder attribute in there. You'll also see the at escaping attribute, which allows us to store closures to be used later on. With that in place, SwiftUI will now automatically create an implicit horizontal stack inside our cell closure. Both options work, so do whichever you prefer.